step up for you? Well, you know, that's why you go through the preseason games. You see who's going to step up. But uh, we're not asking our young guys to be leaders yet. You know, we just want them to go out there and be fundamentally sound and uh, execution-wise, uh, you know, know, know one, knowing what their job is and, and, and doing their job well. That's all we're looking for right now uh, out of the young guys. Um, some of the newcomers now, different, different, different deal now. Uh, you know, Bush, we're hoping he could be a leader. He seems to uh, take that role on. Uh, uh, other guys like Elijah Lee, you know, possibly coming off the practice squad. If we move him up, he's a guy that could could help us. Noah is probably, I mean, the most experienced guy from last year back yeah. this year. Yeah. How important can he be, especially in year two? Yeah, he's you know he's a he's a four phase guy for us. I mean, he plays on every phase, but he's also doing a lot of offense too. So, I mean, we ask a lot of him. So, um, but he's a smart guy. He's able to handle it, and he's uh, you know he got better and better as the year went on last year. Uh, and he became one of our best guys, and we're, we're glad to have him back. It's, he's an important guy to us. Have you been doing this enough to know what you kind of anticipate for an opener? I'm yeah. just wondering what excites you the most about that first game and what terrifies you at night. <laughs> it's probably the same thing. I mean, the, the, the young guys, they excite me, and then the, the young guys, it's terrifying too at the same time. <laughs> um, you know, it's... Um, I'm excited about it, really, because uh, I, I think, you know, Veach put it, put together, he, he brought in some good players. You know, we had, what, we have nine out of, or eight out of nine guys made our team, and they're all going to help us, and they're all going to help us on special teams, and, and I'm excited about what we have. Can't wait to see him when the, you know, when the live bullets come and see how they handle it, but I, I feel pretty good about them. You know, they're going to make some mistakes, and there's going to be, you know, some things that they, that surprise you, like, why'd you do that? But I think in the long run, you know, after a couple of weeks, I think they're going to settle in and be pretty darn good. How long does it take you to trust somebody um, on, on, on teams? Yeah, it's, it takes a while. It takes a while. Uh, you have to see it probably two or three games, and then you, you feel pretty good about it. And then you never know what you're going to get thrown at you. I mean, you know, you, you don't know how the guys are going to handle a break the formation or a, a fake, how they're going to handle a fake. I mean, we don't know. We, I knew how Dan Sorensen was going to handle a fake. You know, I don't know how Deion Bush is going to handle a fake. You know, in the same position. So, I mean, those are things uh, you know that we practice in uh, in the game. You know, in the game speed and stuff. It's those are all unknowns. The unofficial chart has uh, Pacheco at kick and McColl as punt. Is that locked in? Is that? Yeah, that's the, that's the way we'll go in. I mean, we're not trying to hide anything. Everybody knows what we do. We're gonna get our best players on the field, and um, those are our guys right now. And really excited to see uh, the young guy. I know what McColl brings to the table. He's excited about. You know, being that guy, and then uh, Pacheco. I mean, exciting. What do you what do you expect so far from what you've seen from Isaiah? If you can elaborate, um, I think Isaiah is going to hit it hard. He's going to he's going to be hard to bring down. Um, you know, the the first thing I want him to do is catch the ball, though. You know, make sure he catches it before he takes off. Um, but uh, you know, I think he's he, he's going to be he's going to fit our style, what we do on kick return. I think pretty good. So. Uh, you know, and he's and he's fired up about it too. I mean, that's that's what's exciting about it. If you look at the season, can you predict how many games in the NFL and on this team will be decided by special teams? Oh. <laughs> we we always say, I mean, you know, we always talk about how important it is. You know, and any one game could be, I mean, won or lost on special teams. So um, I'm not going to sit here and predict how many games we're going to win, but uh, on special teams, but. Uh, we know it's an important factor in every game, you know, uh, especially this first game. We we don't know a lot about them. They didn't play their guys. I mean, so you, when you look at it, I we had to guess a lot, like who where guys are going to be lined up on special teams too, because they didn't they didn't play you know their number one unit. They we we seen a, a whole bunch of different guys out there, and it's offensively and defensively too. So uh, there's a lot of unknowns. We're going to have to adjust on the run in this game. And uh, you know, one thing that Coach Reed has done is. We know coming out of the training camp, we're prepared, you know, and we're confident, and we're ready to go. Generally speaking, when you, especially indoors, Harrison can kick the ball yeah. for a touchback every time. Yeah. When you, when you go into, especially early in the season, do you just want to take that out of the equation, and just kick a deep shaft? Worry about things, or there will still be spots early in the year where you'll want them to return the ball. Yeah, there, there's always spots where you want them to return the ball, and we're fortunate we have Bucker that can hang it up and, and put it on the one yard line, two yard, make him come out. You know, and then your coverage is right there. So uh, that's a weapon for us. So we'll use that weapon in this game. Uh, we'll also pick times where we have to kick a touch. We will kick a touchback, uh, find out what they're doing, you know, those type of things. So 
um, you know, we, we'll mix it up, you know, according to how the game's going and, you know, where, where we're at in the game. And if we need a play, we can make a play. With this hypothetical 70-yard try, do you need wind at your back or is indoor? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, Bucker is, right now, he's, he's firing on all cylinders. Um, it wouldn't be out of the question, I think, he, in an indoor vacuum situation to, that he can make a 70-yarder. Brent and Andy talked about you know this offseason part of the plan was to get faster and younger on defense. That's translated to your side too. Oh, there's no question that you're getting faster. And yeah, no question. Last year we, we used a lot of receivers on special teams. This kind of shifted this year. Now we've got a lot more corners. You know, so that's for me. That's that's really what it's come down to. I mean, we had, you know, obviously you know six corners that are, that are going to play, and a lot you know four of them are going to play special teams. You know, so. Uh, and they're all and they're all fast. So to answer your question, yes, I mean it's we're a lot faster. I think. How patient, you, how patient do you have to be with those young guys? That you patient. Know? You have to be patient. You know, um, like I said, they're going to make mistakes. Um, but as long as they don't make the same mistake twice, that's all I ask. You know, if they don't, if they do that, we'll keep improving week to week. If if we come out of this game clean, the next game is going to be no different. Till something that's going to pop up. So, um, you know, we just keep firing away. How eager are guys to play? Occasionally you hear about a veteran player, well, he might not make the roster because he doesn't play special teams. Is it because they don't want to play special teams? No, no. Uh, everybody on our team, one thing Coach Coach does a good job of is, is selling the importance of special teams on our team. You know, So everybody comes in with the, the mindset that they're going to play on special teams, and we give everybody a chance. And um, you know, the best players are going to play. Uh, there's, there's a lot of times we'll use a starter on special teams, like we use Snead on punt return because he's a real good corner. Um, you know, you'll see spotted guys on, 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 our, on our special teams. That, I think that's what makes us pretty good. Okay, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks. thanks. See you later.